They are orphans, carrying a secret, some of them for more than 30 years. But after one man began talking, others have come forward. Now, we want to warn you, some of the details of this report may be disturbing. I-Team reporter Kirsten Lindquist investigates what they say is going on at Miracle Ranch. We're not supposed to tell anybody what was going on there. He, he feels like he was kicking me and, and punched, uh, punching me. I feel so dirty. I was afraid, so I never say anything. This man abused me, raped me, and... They say they're victims, 35 orphans who grew up here, Miracle Ranch, a Christian orphanage, a dusty, secluded compound in the foothills 90 minutes south of San Diego. They range in age between 25 and 40. This is the first time that I say to someone, but it's, it's good for me to, to take it away, to say it. They claim it was this man, Antonio Hernandez, and his brother, Jose Hernandez, who abused them. And this woman, Edna Hernandez, Antonio's and wife, who did nothing to stop it. She show you, oh, yeah, like a bird. No, she is not. They describe a place of fear, where the generator was shut down after dark so that no one could turn on the lights when the men would come into the dorms. When I used to see Antonio going under the blankets with the little girls and kissing them and touching them. They talk of repeated rapes. Girls as young as six sexually abused to the point of bleeding, while Edna did her best to cover it up. We saw the, the, the trash can with a lot of blood, papers, and diapers. And you know what Edna told us? That she got her with a um, cactus. Like Elsa Ochoa, now 40 years old, they all continue to carry their shame. Every time that I can, I eat so <laughs> This is Miracle Ranch today. The I-Team went undercover to see for ourselves. The place is lacking in much, but to our untrained eye, the children seem healthy, happy. We find Jose Hernandez, the brother of Antonio, was forced to quit after complaints from other staff members. But Antonio and Edna are still running the orphanage. But the Lord is faithful, and he always supplies the needs. There's a lot of people that would describe them as kind of the Mother Teresa of Ensenada. The I-Team showed emotional footage of the victims to Mark Stratton and Drew Belk. They run Baja Children's Fund, which supports the ranch, some of their money coming from generous San Diegans. And we don't believe the accusations against the Antonio because there just appears to be saltera motives. They believe those claiming to be victims are being manipulated by two former ranch staffers, Steve Scheinhofen and Neil Vaughn. They say the two are trying to gain control of the 22 acres the orphanage sits on. Scheinhofen and Vaughn adamantly deny this and say Baja Children's Fund is doing all they can to avoid the real issue. It's really not about us. It has nothing to do with us. Baja Children's Fund does not deny there was abuse at Miracle Ranch years ago and admit at least two pedophiles, Dalton Weber, who admitted to molesting five children at a Carlsbad church in 1994, and John Swink, convicted of lewd acts with a minor under 14, did frequent the orphanage in the 70s and 80s. I think that some of these things probably did happen. And so there's an amount of truth in everything. I don't believe in the sexual um, allegations against Antonio. They refuse to believe Antonio and Edna are harming the children. They say the jury is still out on the allegations of current mistreatment of the orphans. All we're trying to do right now is take care of the kids who are at that orphanage and hope that somebody with more wisdom than we have can sort this out. Marisa Ungarte heads up the Bilateral Safety Coalition Corridor and argues Mexican agencies oversight of orphanages is poor at best. She says if these children were abused at any time and Antonio and Edna even knew about it, they should not be running an orphanage today. We can't just make children liars. Our duty is first to believe the child and then everything else. These now grown children show us their scars. They say from beatings at the orphanage and their scars inside, memories of being told they were worthless. They always telling us why you are here, because nobody loves you. It is evident that someone hurt these children and no one stopped it. <laughs> it 
The Orphans have filed criminal charges against the Hernandezes in the city of Ensenada. Now tomorrow night, Confessions of a Pedophile will have our interview with the man who admits to sexually abusing the orphans. With photojournalist Michael Gonzalez, I'm Kirsten Lindquist for the 10 News I-Team.